What up guys, it's Valk here. And if you didn't hear already, the hunt for Sombra is over. As at BlizzCon 2016, introduction stage, a new animated short appeared featuring Sombra, Widowmaker, Reaper, and Zarya. As per the previously leaked images, including the speculated artwork just a few days ago, with Sombra standing on the mech's hand with all the electrical lines coming from her, this is now all being confirmed because that was used as the backdrop to the introduction stage just after the release of Sombra. Now, something doesn't sit quite right with me. However cool Sombra is and the release and the animated short, was the ARG, the community that spent hundreds of hours trying to figure out who Sombra was, was never really ever going to get to the final destination because Sombra looks like she was always going to be released at BlizzCon. So this means wherever people got to, at least at this point, they were never going to find out who Sombra was. They were never going to find some clue to find out who she was before BlizzCon. I mean, maybe there was a clue before BlizzCon. Maybe you could find out who it was, but most likely that wouldn't happen because that wouldn't be a big, huge reveal. So it kind of makes me a little bit sad that all these people spent all this time. I mean, they could have spent absolutely no time on the ARG and Sombra was still going to be released. There's some Easter eggs in games that have been there forever and may never be solved because people can't figure them out. But, you know, imagine, you know, solving a crime without actually having to do any of the detective work. So with those feelings aside, let's talk about more about Sombra, what we've seen in the animated short. As we already know, Sombra is a hacker. She can also, as confirmed, turn herself invisible. She has this little tech unit she can throw and she can teleport to it and she can teleport to it from different locations as we see uh, a couple of times during the animated short. This seems like a very interesting piece of equipment that is probably going to be a little bit game changing, especially when it comes to competitive games. Maybe Sombra, if she's a strong hero, is going to change the way that we play the game. At the end of the animated short, Mike states that Sombra is a stealthy, offensive infiltrator who can hack enemy abilities. Lucky for me, I was able to watch a little bit of gameplay from Unit Lost Stylosa as he was at BlizzCon playing some Sombra. Stylosa briefly paused on Sombra's abilities, starting from the left. We've got Machine Pistol, which is a short-range automatic weapon. The ultimate is an EMP. Hack enemies and destroy enemy shields and barriers around you. On E is a translocator, throw a beacon and then press E again to teleport to it, kind of as we saw in the animated short. On your shift you've got a therm optic camo, basically means you become invisible for a short amount of time. On right click you've got hack, and so what you do is hold to hack. Hacked enemies cannot use abilities, hacked health packs spawn faster but can't be used by enemies. Taking damage interrupts the hack attempt. And then on a passive ability you have opportunities, you can detect critically injured enemies through walls. Now this is going to be a huge game changer for competitive. Overall Sombra looks like she's going to be a really fun hero. It's going to be very interesting to see how she fits in with the current lineup of heroes. But Mike said she's going to be available to play on the PTR next week along with two new maps that have just been announced. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know the clips were only short of the Sombra, but there will be more footage soon. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to drop a thumbs up, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I want to drop a massive shout out to Stylosa at Union Lost for his gameplay that he's been doing at BlizzCon. Make sure to drop him a subscribe. I'm going to put his link in the description below.